jesteśmy na Dealer Day, imprezie, która została zorganizowana przez firmę Audiostacja, przedstawiciela różnych marek muzycznych. Impreza ma za zadanie połączyć producentów sprzętu z odbiorcami w Polsce. Jesteśmy przedstawicielami kilku firm, które produkują sprawy związane z gitarami. Jedna z nich to Laney z Anglii. To już jest producent, który rozpoczął pracę ponad 50 lat temu. Słynny jest z budowy wzmacniaczy lampowych, chociaż ostatnio czasy się zmieniają i poza wzmacniaczami lampowymi mamy też bardzo wiele innych produktów, również mini wzmacniaczy, które, może, które możemy sterować chociażby przez iPhone'a. I wish it was my company. Uh, it was formed by Mr. Lyndon Laney in 1967. He was in a band in school with Robert Plant and John Bonham, uh, playing bass in the Band of Joy. And uh, he couldn't hear himself because John Bonham was quite heavy on the drums. So he made himself an amplifier. And then he made himself another amplifier and he became hooked on building amplifiers. And he still loves building things to this day. This day. So when Robert and John went to London to do something, I think they formed a band or something. Um, he persuaded his father on the day he was supposed to go to university to allow him to start building amplifiers in the garden shed. And that's how we started. Uh, and we're based in Birmingham, which is the Midlands, the industrial heart of the country. And in those days, it was very heavy industry, steel, coal, iron, you know, um, and It was a tough area and uh, people would come along to him, like Tony Iommi would come along to, to Lyndon and say, can you, can you build me an amplifier? And so Lyndon did and these guys were, were working in steelworks and they didn't want to play jazz or country music when they came home. So the music that they made reflected what they, their life really. So it was where heavy metal was born. Uh, and Birmingham is the home of heavy metal and that original heavy metal sound is the sound of a Laney amplifier and it's also the sound that we've recreated with our new handmade product from the UK from our Black Country Customs Workshop uh, in the LA30BL which is our signature product at the moment there's a new model coming out soon called the LA100 Supermod which is actually um, a direct rebuild of Tony Iommi's original amp but with a master volume uh, because that 100 watt amp is so loud you cannot use it anywhere unless you're playing in a stadium so so that's our that's our flagship model at the moment is the uh, the gear that reflects our early history uh, the, the the basis of our of our of our tone of, of the black country customs black country I should explain is the nickname for the area where, where we are. It was called the Black Country because apparently Queen Victoria was passing through on a train in the late 19th century. Um, and the town was covered in smoke and smut and, and dirty. And she said, why is this country so black? And they became known as the Black Country. So, so that was that. Um, so we build, we design, we engineer everything in the UK but we build the majority of our products in China. Uh, we have factories in China, very, very good factories, which we uh, visit very regularly. Our production director, our design director, our design engineers uh, are there every month just to make sure that the quality is right. We're so confident that we give a five-year warranty on all our products. So the products are really well made. In fact, the, the, the factory that makes this beast Uh, also makes mobile phones, so it's a very, very high-tech factory. But back in the UK, in the small Black Country Customs Workshop, we, as I say, build the LA30PL, the LA100 Supermod, uh, but we're also now building uh, Black Country Customs pedals. Uh, we've four pedals, the original Tony Iommi Signature Boost pedal, which is a, a version of Tony's original Dallas Rangemaster pedal. Um, 
that he lost. Well, actually, his roadie threw away. <clears throat> he got a new roadie. Um, so that, that was the original pedal. Uh, and now we've introduced three new models, the Steel Park, uh, which is a, 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 a boost pedal, Monolith, which is a, a, a dry, an overdrive pedal, and the Secret Path, which is a really cool shimmer reverb pedal, uh, which is a lovely boutique pedal. And, ag and again, of course, they're handmade in the UK, so and they're very, very well presented in a little tin in Boston with Black Country Customs. Quite cool, actually. So, so yes, that's what we're up to at the moment. Lots of new products coming uh, in the near future, um, and uh, even more by the time we get to this time next year. <laughs> There'll be more pedals. I didn't tell you that, but there'll be more pedals. Um, we've also just introduced uh, uh, a new product called the Drum Hub, which is uh, a drum monitor for electronic drums, uh, which is selling extremely well. Uh, we're also developing uh, more and different uh, uh, things along that line. We've launched uh, a new uh, range of bass amplifiers recently, uh, the Nexus, uh, and there will be more coming from those. We've also introduced our best-selling product ever, which is the new Laney Minis, uh, which are basically little amplifiers, some of them with Bluetooth streaming capability, but they are wonderful because you can plug them into your iPhone and uh, with the, well, any any sound app really, but we've developed it in association with Tonebridge, which is run by Ultimate Guitar, uh, to give you thousands of different tones uh, using the app. The app is free, the amps are not expensive, so yeah, it's a, they're a great little product. They come in, in three models and in three styles. So there's, there's one like the Lionheart, which is the lovely blue amplifier, the single-ended Class A amplifiers we make. There's one black rock amp like the, the Ironheart that we make. And there's one which is called the Super Group, the Super G, which is like the, the Black Country Customs LA30BL style. Um, and uh, yeah, they're wonderful little products, so get the chance to, to play with those. Um, and expect more from that line as well in, in, the, in the future. Uh, we've also just introduced a new line of acoustic amplifiers, um, the, starting with the A-Solo, uh, uh, and then the A-Duo, the A-Fresco, and the, the A-1. The A-Fresco is an all battery-powered uh, acoustic amp, so it's a busking amp, really. You, you've got two channels, mic channel, guitar channel, or two guitar channels, and batteries that will last for up to 24 hours. So, yeah, yeah some lovely, and wonderful new products. We are a diverse amp company. We make four ranges of tube amplifiers. Um, tube amps are a thing of mystery and black art um, that everybody should try. And, and uh, young people today, my son, my youngest son plays guitar and he wanted a modeling amp to do this, that and the other. And I gave him a tube amp and it blew his mind because they react in a completely different way. It's a different relationship with your fingers, the guitar, and the amplifier working as one. Um, so everybody should try a tube amp. We start off with the Cub, which is our most popular selling range of tube amps. The Cub 12R is our best selling tube combo around the world. And I would say probably one of the best selling tube amp combos around the world. Um, then we make the Lionheart range, which is single-ended Class A. So it's basically a boutique amp. I think we're the only major amp brand that makes a single-ended Class A boutique amp. Um, and we do a parallel single-ended Class A. Once you, there's, a, there's a 5 watt version, then there's a, a, a 20 watt version, which is basically four 5 watt running in parallel. Uh, then we have the GHR, which is this lovely beast here, which is basically a British rock amp um, with EL34 power tubes. Uh, all, both the Lionheart and the GHR are wonderful for pedals. And then we make the Ironheart, which is looks like an all out and out rock amp, but has three good channels clean, as well as, as the rock and the rhythm, of course. So we have a good range of products um, and lots and lots of video on our YouTube channel and also on our, on our website laney.co.uk, laney.co.uk.
No i jest też taka firma, która nazywa się Universal Audio, która znana jest głównie z produktów studyjnych, ale niedawno wypuściła też tak zwany loadbox, który się nazywa OX, który ma za zadanie emulować kolumnę gitarową rozkręconą na pełny regulator, tak żeby uzyskać odpowiednie brzmienie, ale wszystko to może odbywać się również po cichu albo nawet na słuchawkach. Mamy też gitary. Jest firma Vintage z Wielkiej Brytanii, która produkuje gitary, można powiedzieć, no, łatwo dostępne dla ludzi z mniejszym budżetem. Mamy tutaj gitary elektryczne, mamy gitary akustyczne, elektroakustyczne, mamy basy i nawet ukulele. Więc każdy znajdzie coś dla siebie. Gitary są bardzo porządne, ze sprzętem Wilkinson, czyli z angielskim sprzętem i cieszą się bardzo dużą popularnością. I'm Pete from Vintage Guitars. Uh, we're here at the uh, Dealer Day 2019. Uh, we've been exhibiting a new range of vintage guitars. Uh, as you can see from the backdrop, we have various different models. Um, uh, a large range of uh, electric guitars and now acoustic guitars. All the electric guitars come with the Wilkinson hardware, Wilkinson pickups, the Wilkinson machine heads. And they've been designed in conjunction with Trevor Wilkinson, uh, designed in the UK and then manufactured offshore. Uh, we have the acoustic range as well, which predominantly is a, a range of uh, semi-professional acoustic guitars. Uh, we have a lot of solid top models, and uh, again, designed are indeed in the UK, and then manufactured offshore at various price points, going from an entry-level beginner instrument, all the way through to semi-professional and professional guitars as well. Uh, we've been here at the dealer day to show off some of the models, to try and uh, get as many different dealers to see the guitars, to touch the guitars, and get a feel of what we do as a company. Wyższa półka to gitary Guild, firma amerykańska o, o wieloletniej tradycji, która oferuje gitary z wyższej półki, tak jak wspomniałem, też gitary elektryczne, gitary akustyczne, chyba najbardziej znana jest właśnie z gitar akustycznych, ale ciągle poszerza ofertę, również o bardziej dostępne modele. Niemiec przyjechała do nas firma Blue Guitar i jej twórca Thomas Blue. Firma Blue Guitar y, znana jest y, z tego, że produkuje bardzo sprytne urządzenia emulujące również obciążone wzmacniacze i brzmienie kolumny, a także parę innych gadżetów, które y, y, gitarzyści bardzo lubią używać na scenie, ale również w studiu. Jest to w ogóle ogólny trend, y, żeby dostarczać urządzenia brzmiące jak na scenie, ale żeby można było z nimi ćwiczyć w małych pomieszczeniach albo po prostu nagrywać. Jest też firma Hedrash, część korporacji In Music. Firma Hedrash produkuje nowego rodzaju procesory gitarowe, takie jak Pedal Board, gdzie mamy potężne urządzenie z ekranem dotykowym i z symulacją najróżniejszych wzmacniaczy i innych efektów gitarowych. Hedrash produkuje też nagłośnienie gitarowe, a także ma swój ostatni produkt Looper Board, który jest jednym z najbardziej rozbudowanych looperów w ogóle na rynku gitarowym. Hi, I'm Ross. I'm from uh, Hedrash. Uh, it's part of the In Music family of brands. Um, and the philosophy behind Headrush is to deliver great tone um, and ease of use for the, for the modern guitarist. 
Um, we've got products like Pedalboard that combines the 11HD expanded software into a, a floorboard modeling processor, with a radiant touchscreen built into it. It's a, a fantastic, um, robust build ready for the road. Um, and then we've got the smaller brother of um, Headrush Pedalboard, which is the gig board. Again, perfect for the mobile musician, somebody wants to put their modeling processor in their backpack. And then we've got um, the FRFR series, which has given guitarists the perfect full range, flat response speaker cabinet for any modeling processor. Um, and then lately, we've just released a Looper Board, which is the world's most advanced looper, um, which is set to enlighten the, uh, the creativity of guitarists, piano players, beatboxers, and anyone who wants to, wants to loop and create tracks on the fly. We felt that um, Headrush demanded its own brand. It wouldn't fit within any of our other brand portfolio. We needed a brand for guitarists. So we developed Headrush. We're all guitarists in the company. We created the, uh, the dream board that we would want. Um, and uh, it's been received so well in the market. There's, there's so many people using this processor now. No i wreszcie amerykański producent nagłośnienia basowego, czyli firma Aguilar z Nowego Jorku. Bardzo poważana wśród basistów na całym świecie, produkująca najwyższej klasy wzmacniacze oraz kolumny basowe, a także szereg efektów przeznaczonych właśnie do gitar basowych, co jak wiemy nie jest wcale takim częstym zjawiskiem.